James, so Gary Thomas here from Wiley Sprocket. So we are going to talk about uh, why I switched from a WordPress site to Weebly through Square. And uh, I've been on WordPress forever, I mean, more than 10 years. And I've loved WordPress and I've spent a lot of money on WordPress. If we go to my website here, you can see the back end. And the great thing about WordPress is the... Uh, is all the plugins and all of the features that you can add to WordPress, the forms, the menus. I mean, virtually unlimited what you can do on the WordPress platform. But as our business began to grow, and especially during a pandemic, it's 2020, we're in the middle of a pandemic, there's a lot of integration issues with uh, WordPress. Uh, inventory, integrating with our POS system, and so when you look at the back end, we've got a lot of stuff going on here with a lot of the, the different uh, plugins that uh, WordPress uses. But as we began to expand our business, uh, a couple things happened. Uh, number one is uh, WordPress, we found ourselves uh, referring everything outside of our main website. So what I mean by that, if I have my WordPress site and I wanted somebody to do a delivery, what would end up happening is it would refer you to a different website. If I wanted to do, uh, let's say, uh, look at something on locations and somebody wanted to uh, go to a location like our Sparks location uh, and they wanted to go to a Grubhub, it would go to a different site and uh, so we were simply just referring everything out there. So one of the things we looked at is uh, we partnered with this uh, great company called Hotjar. And what Hotjar did is it really analyzed uh, the heat maps on our website and it would tell us um, what people were clicking on. And so one of the things that we found out is like 90% of our customers wanting to buy something. They were wanting to interact with the product. So no matter what type of story we were telling with our smoothie, juice bar, acai bar, no matter what type of narrative we were, we were really trying to uh, help educate people on the healthy uh, aspect of smoothies and juices and bowls. At the end of the day, they just wanted to buy stuff. They wanted to buy stuff. And so uh, for the past uh, few months, we have uh, moved a lot of our website to the Square platform. And the neat thing about Square, let me, um, I'm kind of jumping around here. The neat thing about Square is that um, uh, Square's partnership with Weebly has done an incredible job on integrating virtually every aspect of the point of sale experience. So given the fact that 90% of the customers are ordering, it links every customer to our point of sale system. It also links to all the different delivery providers out there. So rather than sending everything all over the place, everything is contained within Weebly and the Square POS system. And you know, in our stores, we have a fantastic loyalty program. And so we weren't able to integrate our points until now. And now when we have our loyalty system and customers are ordering online for pickup or they're wanting to do delivery, um, they could utilize all of the incredible features that we use for Square. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through a, a Weebly integration uh, right now. We're going we're gonna to transfer this baby. We're going to cut the cord between WordPress. We're killing it. Um, after 10 years, and here's how we're going to do it. The first thing is we are going to go in the back end to our online portal. Beautiful. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, when you edit a site, when you go to edit a site and you publish the site, it'll automatically uh, prompt you. Actually, we can just go right here, upgrade. So we're going to go to upgrade. And so... Um, and I'm going to go ahead and select this plan here because I like the gift option. We're going to go ahead and click on the this guy here. And boom. And I'm going to have to hide that.
So now this says it's not available. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna hit maybe later. And so what I've gotta do here is there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit publish. And what I wanna do, here's the feature that I want right here, is I wanna use the domain I own elsewhere. So this is where I'm gonna go, www.kiva.com. So I'm gonna verify that. Yep. Connect your domain to Square site. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose the, uh, I'm not gonna transfer it because I like to control my own domain. And so what Square's gonna do is it's gonna walk me right through transferring the website. And I think that's it. So now if I hit publish, So we're publishing your site to www.kiva.com. It can take up to 24 hours for the domain changes to appear across all browser types. So let's see what happens with that. And then that's that. So I'll keep you posted what happens in 24 hours. Um, we'll see right now if it kills my website. I'll go ahead and open a Chrome, a Chrome uh, view here. So I'll go to kiva.com. Oh, and so now it is killed. So stay tuned. We'll see. I'm actually on tech. I'm, I'm on technical support right now with Square. Uh, it's been about 30 minutes since I got on the call with you guys. Maybe I don't know what the time is. Maybe 10, 15 minutes. I don't know. But uh, anyway, I think I know what the issue is. So when the so the domain name, the Kiva.com, the domain name needs to transfer. It, the the name needs to be pointed to the square server that the um that the the information is stored on and so my wordpress site is stored on godaddy but my domain name is hosted by moniker so they are the ones that host the and manage the the domain name for me so i think what's happening here is that um it normally if you had a, a godaddy site it would be really seamless uh, but I believe what's happening here is that uh, because the moniker site is still pointing to GoDaddy, it's all gone to hell in a handbag. So hang tight. We're going to see what happens and we'll let you guys know. Different location here. I had to follow up. But what happened was my video locked up. So I had to uh, I had to pause the recording. But what's interesting here is uh, the website is actually oh, there, I don't want that one. The website uh, is actually working now. So when I go to my website, you can see that um, this is now a fully integrated uh, Weebly website. Um, and the issue was that I just needed to be patient in order to get it to work. So give it like 30 minutes and it'll work and it's great. So don't forget to subscribe and uh, if you have any questions, comment below.